Hello, folks. We have two more weeks. Can't believe it. Um, asynchronous classes are weird, right? Yeah, they are weird. So um, we're almost done. Keep on going. I want to walk you through what we're doing now and what you what you have to do for the rest of the term. Uh, and I got to say two things. One, um, the unit two participation grades disappeared again, I noticed this morning. So I go back and put them in this afternoon. And second thing, um, the unit three stuff I've been looking at and starting to grade this morning. And boy, there's some great projects in there, just some really, really good stuff. So if you haven't had a chance to go look and see what some of your um, your classmates are doing, go go do that because it's, it's really some some wonderful videos and fish and travel, all, all kinds of good stuff. So go on over there um, and do that. So just know that I'll get um, the unit three stuff up uh, today or over the weekend, since I teach all day tomorrow, I'll be gone. So I'll, I'll do what I can today and then I'll finish it up over the weekend and I'll put the unit twos back in again. Um, those of you who are still involved in class and still participating, don't worry about it, you'll be fine. So we'll, we'll get that. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna uh, share the screen and talk about the final portfolio and reflection and um, just let you know what is, what's, what's what, let's see here. And it's the wrong page. So there we go. So here we are. Um, <clears throat> final two weeks left. This says keep going. It's hard to read. Um, red red print is kind of tough to read, especially if it's on something like blue or green. Um, so, but that's what it says. Anyway, so this is what we're doing the last two weeks. The due on the twenty the twenty second, which is the last day of class, end of day is the. Uh, any revisions that you're doing, uh, which constitutes the final re final portfolio and then a final reflection. So let me go over and uh, show you that assignment. Here's the link to it. Um, here it is. Um, the final portfolio is worth 50% of your grade, your course grade. The final revisions of units one and two are is worth 20 points. So they each worth 10 points altogether. Um, whatever grade you got on the draft, if it wasn't you know, what you wanted it to be. When you revise it, if it goes, if the revision is better and the grade goes up, I'll go back and change that draft grade. So the, the grades always end up in my class looking a little inflated um, because um, it, I, I want people to get better and not just not just earn a grade, okay? So that's that's my thinking on it. So the final, the final revisions of units one and two uh, together worth 20 points for that. And then the final reflection on what you did um, and whatever progress you made this term, however you wanted to find progress, as we say here, is worth 30 points. This is really, a, like, this is worth more than, than any individual assignment for the whole term. And there's a reason for that. Um, it's, um, so you can kind of see what you learn that you might take with you in the future. And that we have some really specific uh, assignment points, some touch points on this that we that you need to you need to meet in order to get that grade. So the other thing that's the note on here, it says you can upload any other work into your final portfolio that you want. That's fine. Anything it, it'll it'll can't hurt your grade. It can only help. All right. So if there's something that you did that you thought we were particularly proud of, it could be a, just a whole series of comments on on perusal on any of the things that we've read. We still have one more to read. Um, so that's fine. So I can all help too. I don't give extra credit. Um, you kind of get extra credit for um, posts and and proves all. We're not we're not doing open lab posts, and I forgot to change this. Um, those those are sort of extra credit, all right? So the final revisions. Um, just go back and redo it based on the notes that I left for you for units one and two. That would be the um, oh the language one, and then the uh, the discourse community one. Uh, the discourse community one and language, and then the um, um, the article that you did, right? The Vox article. Um, so the other thing you need to do is when you revise it, hey, take, get your draft, make a copy of it, do your revisions. And when you get through with the revisions on the top of the, the, the top of the page, right at the beginning of the, of the, the essay or the revision, write me a paragraph explaining what you did to revise it and why. If you didn't revise it, just say, I didn't revise it. I was happy. Jackie was happy. Life is good. Deal with it, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, but add a add a paragraph just at the beginning to tell me what you did and why you did it. Um, mention any feedback that you got from me or comments on on the in the drive. Um, 
and you know why you incorporated those things or, or not. So this needs to be thoughtful. Also, it's kind of you're kind of taking us through the whole um through the whole term. That's in the reflection, which we'll get to. So so these final revisions are unit one, unit two, and then a paragraph on the top of each one explaining what you revised and why. So that's the final revision part. Um, then the second part of it is the final reflection, which is longer. It's about a thousand words. Um, again, you're going to be looking back over what you did. It's like an athlete looking back over a, a game that you played, uh, a, a musician looking back over a performance that you did, thinking about, you know, what you what you learned from doing that, um, what you didn't learn, um, what was useful to you, what was not useful to you, what you're going to take forward in the future. Um, a lot of my students in this 1121 class say, well, I, you know, I, I thought about audience for the first time, um, which is like, you do that, then that's, that's great. That's perfect. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Okay. So these are some things um, to think about. And you don't have to answer these questions. In fact, I would rather that you didn't um, just think about, you know, what, where you were at the beginning of the term, um, the favorite assignment, least favorite and why sort of what you went through, what, anything that changed in your attitudes toward writing or thinking or communication in, you know, in the 21st century and things that you might take with you to either other classes or the world of work or, or personal community stuff, okay? Um, so again, don't, don't just answer these questions in a row. Tell me a story, okay? Write me a narrative. Um, tell me what you went through, okay? So that's that's what this is. It's a finished piece of writing, right? So it needs to be it needs to be revised probably, um, because re writing is revision is writing or writing is revision. I was getting backwards. <laughs> okay, if you have very personal things to say in the reflection, that's fine, um, but you don't have to share them in this little thing that we're you know that we're going to be doing. Um, the, I've actually sort of changed this, so we're not doing a, a shitty first draft of this anymore. You're going to just send me the first paragraph of it, uh, and that and that's okay too. So, um, on on Slack, right? So um, you can get personal on that too. the The other thing to remember about this final reflection is um, well, there's a few things. I'll go with this. Uh, so what? Make a point with your final reflection. Um, you know sort of bottom line about the term and about yourself and writing. Be sure it's organized. Don't make it one long paragraph. I may kill people if they give me, I, I have a tendency to sort of just not read something. If it's all, if it's a thousand word paragraph, I'm not going to read it. So break it up. And if I don't read it, I'm going to give you a zero. And that's, that's that. So make sure there are paragraphs, real honest to goodness paragraphs in there. And um, if you want to use subheads, that's fine. You can do that too. Um, now here's the tricky part. You have to have at least three quotes from your own writing, although it doesn't matter from what. It could be from a perusal comment. It could be from a comment you left on somebody else's um, work when we were doing that, workshopping stuff. It uh, doesn't matter. It could be from one of the essays that you did. It could be from unit, something you did for unit three or your writer's reflection, um, writer's statement. It could be any of that kind of stuff. Okay, But there need to be three things that come from your own writing that are in there, right? So this is not something you, that you can drop into chat GPT and have them do it because you've got to put things in about that you did yourself. Explain why you included those things. Uh, proofread it, uh, make sure it's long enough. It's, you know, it, it, make it sure it's as close to a thousand words as you can. Um, the other thing that I didn't put on here is some students want to say nice things to me about me as a teacher. Well, A, thank you, I appreciate that. B, not necessary. Um, if you want to say well, how the class could be better, that's fine too. If you want to say that you enjoyed it, that's fine too. But um, just saying something nice to me in order to think I'm think I'm going to give you a better grade is going to work and doesn't work. Um, I'm much more likely to be uh, moved by something that people tell me that you know a suggestion for doing something better or um, or if it didn't if the class did make a difference to you, you know why. So. Um, there's that, okay? So don't don't butter up the teacher, as we used to say. Now, here are a couple of examples of final reflections, and here's the link to them. Um, this is one of them, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna read them, um, but this was this is one, and they're both over on this hub. 
page that we have. And here's a different one. All right. Um, just this one, just walk through everything. Now, the first assignment used to be called a portrait of a word, uh, and it still sort of is, but it's, it's portrait of language now mostly. But this is this was this one too. Okay, so there's a couple of examples that you can look at to give you some ideas on what to write. So here's the bottom line for the final portfolio as a whole, right? And remember, the final portfolio is worth 50% of your grade, your final grade. So it contains two things, the final reflections of unit one, I gotta fix this, unit one and and, and unit two. Um, I gotta change this, this is wrong. This is, somebody didn't change this and I gotta go back and do it now, I just, I just now seeing this. Uh, it's unit one and unit two um, with the paragraph on the top of each one explaining the changes you made and why you made them. Then your final reflection, um, and any other work you want to put in there and then upload all of that stuff into the final portfolio folder in the drive, okay? Um, and it's due to the end of the day on May the 22nd, which is two weeks from yesterday because I'm doing this on the morning of the 9th, um, on Thursday. Uh, if you're having trouble um, with something happens right at the end and you can't get everything uploaded, let me know. Send me a message on Slack or email as fast as you possibly can. Uh, I have got to get the grades in on, on Saturday. Oh, no, on Friday, I think, on the 24th. So uh, I don't have a lot of wiggle room on this thing because I start teaching again next Wednesday, the next Wednesday on the 29th. So that, that, I think that's it. I'll go back and fix these things so they'll look right when you come back in here and look at it. Um, go back over here to the announcements page. And um, the other thing that you need to do, get unit three done. Uh, get your writer statement done. I think everybody's pretty well finished with those by now. Uh, go go read this in perusal um, about revising. It's 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 not very long and it's pretty interesting. Uh, and then um, DM me. You can do this on email too, but it's easier just to DM me on Slack. What about what you're going to revise? And then also write uh, just the first a a draft, a shitty first draft first paragraph of your final reflection, okay? And that's not due till the end of the weekend, um, till, till Sunday, that's not due till Sunday night. Um, okay, so I can take a look at it and see if you're going in the right direction, right? So, and again, I respond to Slack a lot faster than I do anything else. So it's, it's always better to DM me there. So two things for this coming week, um, read the maker's eye, um, work on the revisions and final reflections, DM me what you're gonna work on in the, the first paragraph of that. I think that's all clear. So some reading, some writing, making sure unit three is all done and I'll go back and fix the grades on unit two and I'll get unit threes all up there too. But right now everything is looking really, really good. So I think that's it. Um, and hang in there, we only got a couple more weeks and I will, let, let me see, I've got to stop sharing so I can turn this thing off. All right, so I'll see you later, bye.